to roll or not to roll? That is the question. Hi everyone, Keith Wilson here. Thanks for taking your time to stop by and watch this video. I really appreciate it. Listen, there are certain situations when you can roll over your 401k. For example, if you left your job, either voluntarily or involuntarily, or you just simply retire. So when that happens, you basically have three options if you retire, but you have four options if you found another job elsewhere, you know? So if you have retired, your options are, you can simply cash it out or leave it where it is or roll it to an IRA or what we call an individual retirement account. If you're still working and you found another job with another company, the, the options are the same with the addition of rolling the old 401k with your new company's 401k if they offer one. So let's take a look at each of these options and see what makes the most sense in your situation. But before we do that, please take some time Hit that subscribe button below. Man, I would really appreciate it. Okay, option number one, you can cash it out. You can just tell the 401k company, hey, send you a check and away you go. But here's the problem with that. It's a little something that's called taxes. So let's say you got two or 300,000 in your 401k and that may very well put you in one of the highest tax brackets, paying 32, 35, or 37% in taxes, not to mention state income tax. And if you're under 59 and a half, hey, it's a possible 10% IRS penalty imposed on top of that. So I don't I don't like that too much. So let's go to option two. You could leave it where it is. Now, in some situations, this may make sense. It really comes down to what investment options are available. But 401k plans are notorious for not really having a lot of investment options, okay? So you need to dive in into what they have to offer and weigh that against what you could find elsewhere. Also, you would need to look at the charges fees and expenses they that you know that they're assessing and remember since you are no longer working for the company then there is no company match that could offset those fees but if you get a, if you got a job with another company you have the option of rolling that old 401k into the new company's 401k but there again you would need to look at the investment options and expenses with that new 401k. Option three, you could roll the 401k into an IRA. And essentially what you do is really, all you do is you open up an IRA account and you direct your 401k company to transfer or roll over that 401k into your new IRA. Now, there is no tax involved here because it's going from one custodian to the other. So why would people do this? Well, for one thing, you have far more investment choices uh, and you can select an IRA and, and invest pretty much whatever you want to, right? So the investment universe is wide open. This really gives you a lot more control of how your retirement dollars are invested. So you also have the ability to work with an investment advisor that can help in selecting the right mix of investments that is best suited for your needs and goals. Because when you were investing within your 401k, Here's the thing, you, you, you probably were given just a list of choices and you had to pick those yourself, right? So now before rolling over a 401k to an IRA, again, you need to weigh the charges, fees, and expenses of that new IRA. 
So in the end, it comes down to three basic choices. You can cash it out, pay tax on it, stay where you are, or roll it. Now, rolling over a 401k, listen, it's not a complicated process. And I would suggest working with a financial professional to facilitate that process. That's what we do here at uh, Wilson Financial Advisors. Love to work with you. Answer any questions you may have. Just, uh, you know, give me a call. In the meantime, stay tuned for more videos like this. And if you like this, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications for future videos concerning your personal finance.